So today I'll be doing a little bit of routine maintenance, but it's quite a bit earlier than I had planned. I had the drone sitting on a launch pad. A large gust of wind came through, blew it over into a pile of sand and small pebbles and rocks. Um, at that point, I noticed before takeoff that the motors themselves couldn't move. So we have to do a full motor clean um, and we're gonna have to see if we can get this thing up and running. <clears throat> so I'll put a microphone next to the motor so you can kind of hear what's going on. So move this one. So there's quite a bit of debris in the two rear ones. The front one. All right, so we definitely have to clean these three right here. To do that, the first step is gonna be taking off the rotors themselves, remembering the placements of each one of them. What we're looking for is any grime, grit, or dust that's caked in between these coiled motors and the wall itself. Now, if you look close enough, you can see the clearance and the tolerances are very, very, very tight. So even the smallest piece of sand, rock, dust, any of that kind of stuff can get jammed in between there and keep these things from moving freely. Now this one still moves, but there definitely is debris in there that needs to get cleaned up right there. See, it's getting stuck and then you kind of pull it through and then it'll go. So the thing that we're gonna start with is compressed air. We're gonna use some um, just regular keyboard, PC duster, any of that kind of stuff. And this is the first step that we're gonna take. And hopefully this will clear most of these issues up. If not, we'll have to pull these motor caps and then kind of go from there. Uh, I do have a shoot coming up, so I really would like to get this thing running instead of having to order new motors and then go from there. So let's go ahead. What you're gonna do is you're gonna tilt the front end into the motor itself and then try and give it a nice blowout. You don't wanna flip this upside down cause it'll blow stuff <laughs> actually chemicals into there, so. And we're gonna spin at the same time. So that one actually seems to have freed up. So we'll put the mic next to it and you guys can listen. So that one seems to me to be nice and freed up and back to uh, normal. We'll check this one over here again. Not so much. So let's go ahead and do the same thing that we just did with the other one. Since the drone did take a hit, we're also gonna to wanna to check these rotors to make sure that these are all in good shape and that they're not gonna be cracked or anything like that. So this one's good, don't have to replace. This one is dusty, um, but still in good shape. Oop. Actually, we will be replacing this one. This one is in good shape and this one is in good shape. So we'll go ahead and get another one of those and then uh, we'll replace those and we'll get back up and flying. All right, so now that all that stuff is out of there, I have seen people that put in WD-40 in a small amount. I don't know why they would do that because the bearings themselves are sealed so it's not getting into there and the brushless motor would at that point just attract dirt and dust from the WD-40 until it dried up. I know that people put in like, it's a it's like a synthetic brushless motor oil and it's a very 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 small amount uh, I, i'm not gonna do that these are freed up and on dji's forums and stuff like that they 
really don't recommend putting anything in there. So I'm basically just going to do the cleanup of this one, make sure all the dirt and dust is off of it. And then I will go out and test run it and see where we're at. But I can definitely tell that we are in a better spot. Uh, there is absolutely no noise anymore. And before I was afraid to even spin the, the motors themselves. So. What we're gonna do now is a quick test flight to make sure that everything is back in working order. <laughs> 